just click on the browser and type here react native so we just click here guides and click here environment setup so i have already created lecture on the development environment how we can set the development environment for the ios and how we can set the development environment for android so if you did not watch my previous videos so i have given the link in the description so you can watch my previous videos so we can copy this command for create a new project and if you want to create a new project with a specific version so you can copy this command so click on the browser and we can type this command so actually we have already uh, run this command in the, my previous video so in this video i will show you that how we can create a new project with a specific version so suppose this is the version number so suppose we just create a new project 7.3 so actually this is the current version so just i am decreasing a one point uh, this time react native 0.7.3.3 so i am taking here two so you can decrease a uh, react native version according to your requirement if you want to create your react native app with the previous versions so i am decreasing just here a one single point and here you can take the name of your project so suppose i am taking here name of the project suppose i am taking here coding gyan is the name of the project c is capital here this is the name of my channel so i am creating this project with the coding gyan so actually we just need to copy this command because i want to create this project in the document so first of all i will go inside the document and type here this command again and now run this command yeah so actually the command is wrong here i am taking here so now the terminal is asking to proceed so we just click here y for yes and the process will be begin again so we just wait for it so it will take just uh, four to five minutes for completion so we just wait for it so now terminal is asking for the coco a ports so because we are creating this app for the ios also so we just click on the y and it will install the ruby gems so ruby gem actually the dependency for the coco a ports so it will install it a few moments later yeah so actually now project is created for running the android application we can run this command and if you want to run your application on the ios so you can run this command for the ios yeah so now we go inside the visual studio code and here we will open the project we have recently created so we just click on the open yeah so our project is here coding gyan so this is the name of our project so we just copy it so we can copy from here so we can open from here we can click on the document and here coding gyan we just open it and another way is that we can directly 
drag and drop our project here so now we are here and project is ready to work so first of all we go inside terminal and open a new terminal here so the node module is created when we have created the project so we just need to run the command for running the ios application so we can run our ios and android application with the command like npx react native run and here we can type ios suppose we are running this project for the ios first so we can also run this project for the android also so now i am running this application for the ios so just we need to run this command so i think something is wrong in the application so we just need to check here what is the reason so instruction is here fail to build ios project x code build so this is the error and and we can run our application from the x code directly so for this we need to go inside the documents and this is the project coding gyan and here the folder ios and here the xc project is not created yet we need to run here the command so we can check here also the pod is created pod is actually created so we just need to run here again the pod install yeah so now actually all the ports is installed and if you are facing any issue in the port installation so so you can run the command npx react native doctor and this command will show you the dependency of your system uh, and if you are missing something in your dependency so you can fix it okay so now we again run our application we can check here the another coding yarn xc workspace is created here so this file is created after the pod installation so it means that pod is installed so we now run again so we can also run our application with the xc workspace from the xcode directly but first we run our application with the command line so now i am running with the command line so it will take few second we just wait for it a few moments later yeah so finally application is running 